You've heard of meetings that could have been emails, but have you ever heard of someone taking something that could have been an email and turning it into a serverless microservice architecture? If that sounds overcomplicated, that's because it is. And I think you should overcomplicate things too. Let me show you the hidden value of overcomplicating your projects. I'm Brad and I'm a senior engineer at Fang. Let me teach you how to become a better programmer and a better engineer. If you're enjoying the content, please, I just need you to subscribe. Okay, I really need you to subscribe. Just go down there. It's free. It's totally free. Just hit the button and also maybe toss a little like and there's like a link to my Discord in the description. Okay, I'm asking too much. I'm asking too much. Please just hit the subscribe button. I want to tell you about a project that I got to work on during my first like real internship back in college that I think was like a super great learning opportunity because my manager at the time gave me express permission to basically overcomplicate the solution to a problem. So we had team merch that was going to be coming out. And the only thing that we needed to do, the only thing that we needed to do is we needed to collect everyone's size. Absolute lowest friction way is you say, hey, everyone, can you email me your, uh, can you email me your size for the t-shirts? Slightly harder solution that is still incredibly easy is, hey, everyone, can you fill out this Google form? I have to give extreme credit to my manager at the time for giving me the flexibility to not do this. He says, hey, Brad, here's access to an AWS account. I want you to make a t-shirt store for people to fill out their orders on. All I need is for you to make sure that I can get the information on who ordered what out of that store. Use it as an opportunity to learn AWS. I just go, I bet. And luckily, I was interested enough in cloud computing, and I had heard of an amazing buzzword called serverless. And this is what I set out to learn. First, we need a front end. Okay. What can we do for our front end? Right. This is super simple. This is super simple. We have a fixed problem domain, right? I could just hard code all of the front end info that I need. No. We create an Angular app, okay? And this Angular app needs to get hosted somewhere. So, of course, we set up an S3 bucket. And that S3 bucket's job is just to take the built version of this app and serve it back when you go to whatever the domain was. We have the option to just hard code all of the t-shirt options. We know them up front. We can just hard code these things, but we do not. We do not. Instead, we create a DynamoDB and the DynamoDB is my first experience working with NoSQL data. We slap an API gateway in here and a Lambda function. We are learning. So instead of just doing things the super simple way, we have to get experience with all of these brand new AWS services. And this might have been my first Angular app. I'm actually not positive. This is just how the page loads. The page load involves one, two, three, four, probably five things I've never worked with before. And the home page looks like basically exactly what you would expect for like a basic store then we want to click into these things and we want a new page to do this 
we set up a different version of this, right? Where we instead, this time through, call a different endpoint that calls a different lambda that que makes a different query over the DynamoDB table, right? So instead of get t-shirts, we have uh, t-shirt details, question mark, ID equals ID, which is going to hand that off to the retrieve t-shirt details lambda, which is going to perform a different query on the t-shirt table. I won't bore you with the rest of the details, but you can already see that by making this one decision, my manager tells me, Brad, go off, use AWS, get comfortable with it, and learn. Instead of just, Brad, can you get this thing done for me? I run with this, overcomplicate the system by a lot, by a lot. And this gets me incredibly comfortable with how modern web apps Okay, can technically be built. Not everything's going to use this, right? But it gets me comfortable with a new paradigm. And so I think that a lot of people get really tied up on this idea of done. And a lot of people have talked about this. This is not new. But a lot of people get caught up on the idea of done, and they try to find the absolute simplest way to accomplish a task. I think that there is an overwhelmingly valuable amount of learning in overcomplicating a task as much as you can with some asterisks here. I think that by doing this, I learned so much that I genuinely believe that this project might be the reason I got my first job out of college. No exaggeration. The things that I was asked in the design interview very, very closely aligned with this experience that I had. This project is super valuable, or a project like this is super valuable, that you intentionally overcomplicate just for the purpose of learning something that you think is interesting and is valuable.